Whoa. Don't mix electronics and water. This feels kind of dangerous. Tokyo, 37 million people call this city home, making it the most populated city on earth. But as this city continues to grow, other parts of Japan are dying. Look at him go, he's like a mountain goat. Oh, sorry, you have insurance. If all the young people are here, where are all the old people? I am here to find out if new Web3 technology can save old Japan. What do young people love about this place? Beautiful uh, nightlife. Night All right. Wow, it's been an insane 24 hours in Tokyo. I've just booked a ticket. I'm going to the Niigata province, which is the rural side of Japan. I'm going to see a totally different face. And I've never also been on a bullet train. I absolutely love traveling on trains. It's my favorite form of transportation because they just kind of cut through the layers of society. This is the rural community of Yamakoshi and it couldn't be more different from Tokyo. In 2004, a massive earthquake hit this part of Japan. 68 people lost their lives and many more left this area and never came back. The population went from like 2,200 to about 800 people. I'm really interested in whether technology is only accelerating this trend or whether there's ways that we can use it to make things better. To help deal with this population decline, Haruka has got some ideas in the digital space. The whole village is quite lively. Is it always like this? No. It turns into a bit of a ghost town once the, once the festival leaves. Across Japan, we're seeing all these young people that are going to the major cities like Tokyo. I imagine there's no one left to look after the grannies and the grandfathers. Oh. There must be so many old people just left behind. Yamakoshi you're going to save these old cultures and traditions by using NFTs? NFT will be able to use Yamakoshi's identity and spirit to continue to make a project. Before Haruka shows me the tech, I want to see what traditions and cultures actually stand to be lost here. What are we fighting for? I've come to the local rice fields to meet Tobe-san, who's been harvesting rice by hand for 20 years. Okay, I've never done this before, so I'll follow your lead. What is this for? It's quite hard to see. Oh! <laughs> All right. Oh, mate, look at him go. He's like a mountain goat. Oh, you just chuck it down. This seems like a lot of work. It's pretty tiring, Tobe. What's for lunch? Some people think you're the last generation that will enjoy villages like this as young people continue to move to the big cities. What do you think? Will they come back? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
やっぱ全部バランスだと思います。I agree. Let's eat. Oh. Let's, let's balance my belly. Rice that has just come straight from the field. Oh, that's so amazing. Meeting Tobe has really opened my eyes to the significance of what traditions stand to be lost. There's so much at stake here for Tobe san. I want to see for myself how Haruka thinks her NFTs can save this traditional way of life. Haruka, I love how passionate you are, <laughs> but I don't really understand. Like, how are you going to save ancient cultures and old people using new technology? So, this is the spirit of 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 the spirit Passport to be a digital villager. So, what are the benefits of owning an NFT? In my digital son, mean to show me Discord, the chat tool, or Scatte, Yamakosio, Kono Yamakosio, Sondok Sasser Tamen, no planning or discussion. Hibi Hibi Stemas. So, who can buy these NFTs? Nihon ni Sundetemo, Sekai ni Sundetemo, Dare de Mo, NFT of Konu Dekte, Dare de Mo Yamakosio no Nakamani. Does that mean that the old people in this village have to get into the metaverse as well? Oh, ba chan tachi mo ha. 自分たちでは入った入れなかったりするんですけど、入ってる映像、メタバースに入るとこんなことが起きてるんだよっていうのをおばあちゃんたちにもあの見せてます。で、その10月23日に山古志の住民おじいちゃんおばあちゃんお父さんお母さんも一個に集って。でメタバース空間にデジタル村民も集って。I've seen the real Yamakoshi, but I want to see the metaverse Yamakoshi. Okay. <laughs> でこれがアバターなんですけど。Oh, you can pick a character. <laughs> can I be the eggplant? <laughs> ナスで Yamakoshi のお父さんおばあちゃんお,おじいちゃんおばあちゃんが作ったナスだ。このオラタルここ。Oh, no. Wow! It's the same building. Yes, yes. これ。This is kind of wild. It's like. We're sitting in physical space where we are in the virtual space. The only difference is I'm an eggplant and there's koi flying in the sky. Oh, somebody's joined us. Okay, so now a turnip is hanging out with me in the metaverse. How many digital villages do you have now? Oh, now, 1012 people. There's a thousand and twelve people that have bought these NFTs. Yes. The real ni Yamakoshi ni sumu ninzu o koe mashita. I guess at the end of the day, first prize is to try and get young people to come back to these communities. And if you can remind them about the cultures that have been left behind on the metaverse, maybe they might come back and visit in real life. Mm -hmm. Japan is pretty hard to get a handle on. There's almost two countries here. One is racing into the future, and the other is kind of clinging to the past. And it's worth not underestimating the value of that legacy, history, and traditions. The old saying goes, if you don't know where you've come from, you don't know where you're going. And I hope, I wish, Web3 technology can help bridge the divide between young generations and historical legacies.